Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back again. Uh, this will be a quick one and just kind of fun. So do you guys recognize this guy? Yeah, this is Pfizer's CEO, Albert Borla. And we've talked about certain people apparently having some neck issues. Well, check this one out and just tell us, do you think this is normal? And now I think with this announcement, we are making this dream reality. Many of your medicines, we know from the COVID vaccine, very effective, very welcome. The logistics around that vaccine were not straightforward because of the new technology. Many of your medicines, we know from the COVID vaccine, very effective. We know from the COVID vaccine, very effective, very welcome. The logistics around that... And now I think with this announcement, we are making this dream reality. Many of your medicines, we know from the COVID vaccine, very effective, very welcome. The logistics around that vaccine were not straightforward because of the new technology. Many of your medicines, we know from the COVID vaccine, very effective. We know from the COVID vaccine, very effective. You know, and this is actually the second or third one I've seen of these with him. With him. And... Yeah, you, you know, can I think people are starting to really, really wake up to this word right here. Yes, that is starting to be a household name. People are really starting to understand what we're talking about when we say, how can humans do this to other humans? Well, it's because they're not human and we, we have more. It's not just this one. There is so many cases of this and not every case can just be a fluke. I mean, l look at this. It looks like there is a puppetry string or something across her neck. It's very, very visible, you know, and say, well, maybe it's just creases on her neck. Maybe it's just something about her. But, you know, when you look at others who are similar, they have these same weird creases. And I've looked at my neck and I can't seem to make it do that. No, but there are lizards that do that. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we, we've talked about the emerald tablets of Thoth and the fact that at the end of this age, they will not be able to hide from us anymore. We'll see them for what they really are. And again, you know, it, it, well, the question too is, is is this which number clone now mm -hmm. that's being overshadowed? Because I mean, it sh there was what seven of six, six or seven clones of Hillary that we had gotten from the guides. This is General Petraeus, and you could watch him like morph here. Um, hang on. And if you watch, you, you see he ends up kind of like morphing. And his hand, it, it just kind of changes. It just light, just bad pixelation, bad angles. I don't, I don't know. You know, in this particular case, you know, maybe this one is, is not so convincing as others, but we've seen a bunch of these. And when you talk about the people that are sending us off to war and all these different things that are going on, all these secret projects that involve spraying things and testing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, again, it would make an awful lot of sense, would it not? So it, it seems like there's a lot of these out there. I mean, what's up with her neck? We brought this up before. What's up with it's almost like it reminds me of Men in Black. Was it Men in Black where where the bug alien had a skin suit on and it wasn't quite fitting right? That's not a goiter. It it's not anything like that. There's something else going on here. And it's not just one time. I mean, you look at it. It's kind of doing the same sort of thing, isn't it? What's your thoughts? Mm. You know, well, there, this isn't the only example we have of this. So, you know, one could say maybe shadowing, maybe 
angle of the camera or just like an awkward moment but no there's a there's more there's more and it, it does it is clear and no it's not a goiter and it's just so strange and you know it, it does it's a little disturbing to watch when you see so many of these and you realize that no not all of this can just be dismissed with camera lighting yeah a lot of people are starting to really question and also questioning how many are there of jb how many are there are they supposed to be in the same place at the same time huh. right you know sometimes it's kind of like angry vehement other times it's completely senile and you know sometimes it, it just doesn't look even remotely or sound even remotely alike and then have you heard of Stella Emanuel? Well, let's listen to her now. You know, again, we we always take everything with a grain of salt. But I think people from all different angles are starting to think that there's just something wrong here. Brothers and sisters, patriots, we are living in a time when there are two seats in the world. The other seat is not human. And until we start realizing that we're dealing with creatures that are not human, you keep thinking people like Pelosi and Biden are human. I don't know where their human selves are, but the Bible says the devil would deceive the people of the world to create these images. So how does this deception take place? Be quiet, be quiet. Ah, wait, you, you have time to shut. Just give me a few minutes. What's happening to this seat? Listen, the devil would deceive them to that if you die, you're going to live forever. We will clone you, download your brain to the Internet of Things, and then we're going to upload your brain back into that clone and you'll live forever. It's a deception. Because you see, Bill Gates has been deceived. Even the elites of the world that were human beings have been deceived. Because if Bill Gates was going to die in 20 years, why is he trying to kill us? Why is he trying to preserve the world if he's living in 20 years? They have deceived him that when he will live forever. That when he dies, they will clone him. But he will die, or maybe he has already. And he would go to hell. They will clone him, all right. But what is going to live in those clones will be demonic spirits. And that is why their agenda is so evil. You know, um, see, er, people are waking up from all different angles, you know, and, and whether you're going to take it from a literal biblical perspective or, you know, not biblical at all. And maybe you're just paying attention to other legends out there. There's been a lot of strange sightings. Now, th this is a Secret Service agent. And I remember this one when it first came out. And he seems to be kind of morphing. I, I don't know, was he badly burned in a fire? Maybe. But we've seen tons of them. Now, this is somebody's rendition of a Nephilim, which is not accurate. Again, there's so many distortions in... Um, the, just going from the biblical point of view, you're you're not getting a real accurate point of view. Uh, it, everything is kind of condensed down, mashed together. Um, so we need to look at it from all different sources to get a better picture. But this is a very good representation of this, which that is what we would call a jinn. And yeah, it's, it's a kind of demonic energy being. <clears throat> right, and if you look at that video, you can see obviously this is a being that's made of flame, you know, and it's not really nice and all and so sad. All of these goats were actually murdered; they were killed, and they came knocking on our door asking if Zeke had done it. It was absolutely insane. So these things are very real, and they mean business. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've encountered all sorts of things. You name it, we've kind of encountered it. And, you know, quite a bit we've we've gotten in videos and, and stills. This, when you when you say, and we were just talking about on um, EE Arts, we put up another video talking about Yeshua, Yeshua's true mission. Because, again, it's not going to be mainstream. The mainstream's a distortion. If, if you're believing in MSNBC and CNN and Fox News, then yeah, I could see why you might go ahead and believe exactly what's in the most published book of all time. You might take it word for word. But you might also wake up and say, wait a minute, 
if the devil is running the world, then obviously the most published book of all time would be an edition that's given to us by the devil. Mm -hmm. Satan, the adversary. Who, in their right mind, you know, just like with the transubstantiation, we're talking about the wafer and the wine turning into the body and the blood. This is on many different labels. There's a petition right here because there is human fetal cells that are being used as a flavoring agent. Yes, you heard me right. I'll say it again. Human fetal cells as a flavoring agent. I know. I agree. It's crazy. But that's because they're not human. And you know what's the the sad part about it is is these products have been out for years now. And so many people have heard about this and they know about it. And even though they can read it on the ingredients, guess what? They're still eating it. They're still eating it. Um, this is the stuff we really need to take seriously and step away from. There's legends everywhere, all around the entire globe, that talk about reptilian beings. And here we see for decades, the elders of some tribes in the world claim to have the keys to knowledge from these different traditions. They speak of beings known as the Chitori. Reptilian beings that control humanity. The word Chitori means those that make the law. They're the lawgivers. Think Leviticus. It's believed that these beings did many things to us when they arrived on earth. According to Zulu Sanasi Credo Mutwa, the Chitori descended from huge ships and had the appearance of terrifying reptiles. And they were described as being about nine feet tall, different social classes. There's an upper class of royalty, which have several horns on their neck, wings, and a huge tail. Hello. Uh, that sounds like Satan, doesn't it? Mm. Ha -ha. It sure does. It sure does. Yeah. You know, again, it, it's all right there. Unlike the warrior or lower class, who had lar large eyes with vertical pupils, rounded face, no horns, wings, or tails. African shamans preserved the entire history of the ancient culture of their tribes, information that had been tried to be destroyed on several occasions. These legends tell the situations very similar to what the religion and the Bible dictate, but from a different perspective. And so again, you know, it just boggles my mind when people say, you know, there's no other life out here. It's just us. Uh, aliens. Ha ha ha. Yeah, of course there's life elsewhere, and they're all over the place. As we, Again, when we go into the Vedic holy books, we, we discover they knew that there was abundant life in our galaxy. They knew that it was such common knowledge. You know, actually, when you look in the books, there's pictures of these Vimanas, and there's these spaceships and beings that are different and that have different colored skin yet everybody is standing around speaking um just normally it's not like they're freaking out looking at this spaceship you know it's just it's, it was just commonplace and this is the information that's been taken out of our schools it's been taken out of our mainstream it's definitely um, not in any place where someone who, if they have a nine to five job or they're they're working really really hard, they're not going to run into it, this information when it comes to mainstream because they like to keep it under underground. They like to keep it hidden and especially out of out of churches. And if you do look externally for this information, um, that they you have threats like you're gonna. You know, these are demons. You're only talking to really horrible beings. This is from the Ramayana. The Ramayana is one of the two biggest epics of the Hindu uh, scriptures. The Ramayana and the Mahabharata. Near Bhagavata stands the place where dwells the hosts. Uh-oh. The hosts, the lords of the host, the lord of hosts, the host of the serpent race, a broad walled city, a broad wade city, walled and barred with 
which watchful legions keep in guard the fiercest of the serpent youth each awful for his venom tooth and throned in his imperial hall is vasuki who rules them all so you know this is fascinating honestly i i am reading a book that is going to be just kind of like dessert and I, it's been one that i'm going to savor and uh it's all about basically how these ancient sanskrit texts have all this info on these again the wars of the gods the wars of beings that had we should really say the wars of beings that just simply have more technology than the humans that were here when they got here and again it's a dimensional thing too one of the abilities one of these cities which are superpowers that come to yogis is the ability to shapeshift so this is an ability that that is many races can do we could look at glamoury or a glamour if you're going into say the celtic tradition celtic pagan tradition wiccan predict, uh, tradition and it's an ability where people can make themselves look different to people than what they really really look like again this is part of what we could call true magic and you know so this is just fascinating to see you know these ancient cosmic wars they're documented all around the globe and we keep seeing these reptilian beings popping up everywhere we look and we do find again from from the ancient texts uh of the hindu mythologies so to speak uh, that there's hundreds of thousands of different humanoid beings just in our galaxy as well so life abounds and these are the the behind the scenes rulers of earth during the kali yuga mm. and there are so many things that they do behind the scenes that is just it, it's gut-wrenching but this is where you run into beings that really have no problem um, doing things that are just unthinkable to to others it, it's just so wrong but they're here here they are and they're becoming more and more of a household name and they're in some of your most cherished religious institutions and they've actually given us some of the biggest religious traditions it's all been done really in their name and in their image mm -hmm. and they like to try to pass it off as something that's good for you yes so as always guys thanks for your support over on patreon and ko-fi we couldn't do it without you there and do check out medicinal foods links on every video and use coupon code ea it does give you a discount and there's lots of stuff there that help boost the immune system much love god bless and namaste namaste